Hi Cancer, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. Welcome back, welcome back to me. Um, I took uh, last week off. Um, as some of you may know, uh, I am in the process of selling my house and I am very happy to say that I am under contract. So let's hope that sticks, shall we? <laughs> um, because I am not a fan because I did not use a realtor. And so that is typical of me. <laughs> I'm thinking I can do everything myself. And, but in this case, I was successful once again. So maybe uh, there's some truth to that, but no, that's, I'm kidding. <laughs> but um, so yeah, so I am actually, I've been away from where I grew up for many, many years. And uh, I am moving back to my hometown of Buffalo, New York. And my sister and brother-in-law are helping me look for a house up there because I can't be up there right now. So thank you so much to them. And uh, yeah, so new beginnings. Um, I'm really excited about it. And it's definitely the right move right now. So, so yeah, um, I'm choosing uh, snow over 100 degrees. <laughs> All right, but that's uh, that's okay. All right, so I'm using um, a couple of decks that I haven't used in this in the general readings. I'm using the Amente Oracle, and I'm also using the Triple Goddess Tarot. Okay, so I don't think I don't think I have used these decks. Um, I'm pretty sure I haven't. So let's get started for you, Cancer. Okay, again, I'm just doing one shuffle on camera and cutting the cards on camera after having shuffled, pre-shuffled before we started. All right, so let's see what's going on for you and your person. Okay, I give offerings that are genuine. Okay, so that's the first card out. So that's either for you or for your person. We'll see. And then we have, I give blessings. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. Those are beautiful cards to start with. All right. So let's see. And an interesting thing about this um, Triple Goddess deck, okay, is there's only one visible male in this particular um, deck, and that is the Emperor. All right. So everything else is female goddess-like. Okay, girls? <laughs> so I really love this deck. All right, so let's cut these. All right, and see what's going on here. Oh, I want to start with this. I want to start with them flipped. Okay, so up here we have, we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, so, and what, you know, the other thing that I like about this deck is that it's representative of, of all age groups, okay? You know, and I love the fact that even though we've got the white hair in the bun here, you know, she's in the overalls, she's working in the garden, you know, and, you know, you see more and more of that. You know, people live healthier lives so much longer. <laughs> and, you know, to me, I feel like everybody is looking younger no matter what age they are. So I love to see that, um, you know, reflected in the decks. I don't think you see that anywhere. So, you know, kudos to, I can't say his name here, Lo Scarabio. I love, I love his artwork. Okay, um, but this is a very determined, a very determined energy here, a very determined person, a very giving person, you know, and this person, whether it's you or the other person, we don't know yet, um, has a lot to, has a lot to bring to the table to this to this connection.
Boogie, are you okay, honey? Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, I have to say this. The Fool has come out in every single reading so far. And what's so interesting, and, and I've had to talk about this in every single reading because um, this is a, an interesting thing that happened when I got this deck. I got two Fool cards, and one, the Fool is dressed in... Uh, or an orange dress and then the other one we have this one that is dressed in the kind of the, the black or brown outfit here but I love this how she's surrounded by these orbs by spirit um, you know helping her and guiding her to you know to move to take that leap of faith right so I, I honestly, I feel cancer. I feel like this is you, and I feel like this is your person. Boogie, stop doing that. You're scaring me. Oh, brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're scaring me. Stop doing that. Yeah, you silly banana. Okay. All right, so we have here, look at this. This is the King of Swords here. It's very hard for me to see these sometimes, but this is the King of Swords. Um, so this is this is somebody that's very determined to really bring their, their authentic self towards you. Like, I don't know that they have shown that to you yet. But they're, you know, they're getting ready. And this is a very, um, you know, in spite of the fact that there are all goddesses in these, in these cards, this is a very masculine energy up here, okay? This person, I feel like, has done a lot of thinking about what they want to do, what they want to say when they, come, when they come towards you. This might have already happened. But I find it so interesting that we have, I give offerings that are genuine. I, you know, I don't feel like this person, I feel like this is a new, not that it's new that this person would be genuine, but I feel like they're almost being somewhat vulnerable where they, they're not necessarily used to feeling vulnerable towards somebody. And it's like they're choosing that with you. And with you, with I give blessings, I feel like this person sees you as a blessing. You know, when you came into their life, they that thought crossed their mind, like this person is a blessing to me. I think they appreciate, you know, how tuned into your emotions you are. Like, I don't feel like, I feel like this fool this leap of faith, it, it's more an expression of how you are in your life. Like you, you don't necessarily, you're not the person that's going to hold back what you say because you're worried about what everybody else thinks. You're going to say it and, and it's truthful and it's been a blessing to this person. In many ways, I feel. Look at that. Okay, so we've got the emperor. This is a very, um, this is a very aggressive emperor, I have to say. Um, look at this. So this is the card of Aries. All right. Um, it's interesting how. The emperor is being interpreted in 
the triple goddess deck, <laughs> you know, with this very, very vicious wolf um, by the side of him. I am definitely going to clarify that right now um, before we go any further. Like, what is this emperor in here for? Ooh, okay. So we have, we have the Hierophant, okay? So I feel like this is, this is a spiritual connection, okay? And you know it, okay? I feel like this person is, may or may not necessarily know that just yet. And I feel like you are trying to you might be trying to control, um, you know, how much of, of that you show to this person. The fact that you're coming out as being a blessing to this person and we have the Hierophant, you know, I do feel like this is, this is definitely a spiritual connection. You were meant to come into this person's life. This person knows it. I think that's the first kind of inkling that they've had that this that this might be a, a spiritual connection between the two of you. But I feel like you're trying to control, and that's new for you. So it's new for them to be vulnerable to somebody, but it's new for you to have to try to control what you say to somebody. What did I just get done telling you that you know, that you're very, very open about what you say without worrying about what others think. But in this particular scenario, so there might be a lesson in there for you, okay? Um, you're being, you feel that you need to control what you, how much you say about the spiritual connection between the two of you. That's what I'm getting here. All right, so then we have the Knight of Cups for this person up here. So here's the offering, okay? <laughs> and with the Knight of Cups, I mean, I feel like this is gonna be, this is gonna be a significant offer that they, they come to the table with. And it's because they're making themselves really vulnerable, maybe for the first time in their life. And look at this, we have, we have the world for you. So this is about coming together. This is about a, um, this is about a satisfying connection or, you know, starting a new cycle or ending a new cycle. All right. I feel like in this case, it's, it's really the, the jumping off point for this connection. I mean, getting the fool and the world. That's beautiful. They are, they are coming in and they are very, very determined. And this is going to be, this is going to be a significant offer towards you. And they might be further along in realizing the spiritual nature of this than you think because I feel like this is challenging for you. Like you want to talk about it, <laughs> you do. Um, and you feel like you need to hold back. I'm gonna clarify the, the Knight of Cups here. Six of Pentacles, okay. This person, I, I mean, this is about offerings as well. This is about giving. They, they feel the need to give to you what they feel you have given to them already. You know, not necessarily that you've, you know, given them things, but you have, I feel like you have, um, You have given them, I just heard, and honestly, like the, the will to, 
to live and thrive again. This person might have gone through a lot before they met you. I, I feel like you have just opened up, opened them up to living again. Maybe you know more about that than me, but they're, they're going to be, this is going to be a very kind, loving connection, very generous up here. Okay. And really that's what you want. And you are going to be very satisfied with, with this connection. And it really does build on your spirituality and you are a blessing to this person. Let's see advice for this connection right now. Oh my gosh. That's the sun. Okay, that's the card of yes. Yes, this connection is meant to happen. Yes, this is a very happy energy. And, you know, and I feel like both of you are learning lessons from each other. Like you will learn these lessons more quickly because of each other. Okay, let's see. Romance angels. You know, be happy in this connection too. I think people spend so much time these days, like, looking for what's wrong. <laughs> I feel like this is saying, look at what's right here. Look what's right in each other, okay? You'll both be much happier when you do that, okay? All right, so let's see. We have, pay attention to, Oh, this card. Uh -oh. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so that's what that person got up there. And then we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. All right, so anytime I'm going to, anytime I get this, pay attention to the red flags, I'm going to clarify it because this is my least favorite deck or favorite card in this deck. All right, look at this. Two of cups we got, okay, for pay attention to the red flags. I feel like this is this person not having experienced this level of vulnerability, all right? So I feel like this person's going to be looking for red flags when it comes to this two of cups loving connection. What did I just say before I pulled the pay attention to the red flags? Look for the good in each other, not the negative, all right? It's really crazy that that card came out and that we're, we're getting clarification with the Two of Cups. Um, but that's, that's what that's about, truly, is why would you look for the negatives? You know, if you're seeing signs or if this person is seeing signs, which they may very well be, okay, um, why, would, why would we want to assume that it's the negative? If you're going to assume anything, assume it's positive until it's proven to you that it's negative. That's honestly, that's, that's how we should be looking at this, okay? All right, so that pay attention to the red flags card just... Mm. Anyway, all right, Cancer, that is what I have for you for this week. Um, it feels very, very good, very, it feels very high vibrational. Um, you know, so, so enjoy that. And uh, I will see you next week with the July readings, okay? And thank you so much for your patience uh, with me last week. And I will talk to you soon. All right. Thanks so much, Cancer. Bye-bye.